We're here in the Brambledon Center's Pottery Studio where I'm joined by Rebecca McKeever and she's been teaching art classes for many years with us here at Roanoke County Parks. We're excited to introduce a couple of relatively new classes for children. The first one being a kids pottery course. Now only a few years ago we just offered pottery for adults. That all changed. Tell us about what makes kids pottery different. Well, the children have an awesome opportunity here in a real grown-up artist studio with access to top-rate materials and mm -hmm. um, and the potter's wheels and to have to be able to work on a potter's wheel as a child is a very unique experience. And we're very lucky to have this beautiful studio here at the Brambleton Center. You see in front of us there are a couple of different works. Uh, during the course you not only get to use the uh, mechanical wheel uh, but you also get to hand build some items. Can you show us the difference between some of the items they might make in this course? Sure. Hand building would be the first thing we would do in pottery because you have more control. You're less likely to have an accident in uh -huh. hand building. And the wheel can be frustrating and so if we hand build first if children are having a bad day on the wheel they can go back to hand building. Okay so you start off with hand building which means uh, creating from scratch using your hands? Right. Let's take a look at uh, a piece like like this dragon uh, that's uh, particularly interesting. How is this made? Well it's uh, pulled and and rearranged from one lump of clay and then textures are added. This is a Chinese dragon uh -huh. and I like to encourage um, independent thinking in uh -huh. the classes and so we offer that kids can either make the Chinese dragon or a European dragon with mm -hmm. wings uh, like a medieval dragon and um, so this would be pulled from one lump this would be pieces that are joined together which is very important when you get to the wheel and there's a technique to joining them as well how you actually get the pieces to stick and when so they fire correctly right and sometimes we learn that lesson by things not firing correctly uh, and then once they learn that skill they can progress on to the wheel show us a couple of wheel items we start with bowls and uh, because that's a very easy thing to build on the wheel. Once you start building the wall, that is sort of a dangerous area in the wheel uh -huh. because everything is thin. These are my new favorite things. The kids build a cup and enclose it uh -huh. into a bubble. And the clay is very strong in a bubble. So this went from a cup shape and everything was just shifted uh -huh. over to make the head and the body of the it, bird. Really a unique use of the wheel. I wouldn't have thought that you could do anything other than bowls with it. Uh, now that's just one of the many things you'll learn in the kids pottery courses. You're also teaching a course that's not in our program guide this winter called Kids in Art. Could you tell us about that? Sure, I'll be glad to. Uh, it's multimedia. Uh -huh. I like to, we will draw, we'll paint, we'll construct things. I like to incorporate art history uh -huh. and into the works and, um, and just start with an idea but encourage children to take that as a beginning idea and carry it on into their own creative products. So look for that online at RoanokeCountyParks.com. That's for the elementary school age and then as they get a little older I believe the youth pottery class goes all the way up to age 17. So a really great environment here at the Brambleton Center to learn about art. Thanks Rebecca. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.